Hey Basket Besties, welcome back to 615 Baskets, the ultimate destination for all things gift basket magic. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just dipping your toes into the world of thoughtful gifting, you've landed in the right place. So get ready to unwrap a world of creativity, inspiration, and jaw-dropping gift basket ideas that will leave your customers happy and coming back for more. But before we dive into today's gift giving masterpiece, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our next basket full of surprises. That being said, let's get designing. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an inexpensive gift idea using Burt Bees. All right, so I'm going to go through real quick and show y'all the items that I'm going to be using. And this is going to be a $25 gift basket or, or gift idea because it's not near really a basket. But so we got these at Hobby Lobby, 90% off. And I bought this in a bulk. Well, not a bulk, but it comes in like six pack. So these are originally 23 cents a piece. So this cup is it's a pretty big cup too. It may be a 24 ounce. Oh well, it doesn't say, but it's a big cup. And then I was at Walmart in their clearance section. And this is this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. If y'all get the um Walmart scan and go, you'll have to pay for it monthly. But that's what I get. Um, as you can see, it said it was 1025, but look at the date. Let me see if I can see the date. Let me see what it says. Okay. It says 815. So when it's like two weeks out of date, um, I like to rescan it with my scan and go app because it, it will give me a more accurate gift. I mean, <laughs> it will give me a more accurate price. So when I scanned it, this is what it came up to. Five ninety six. Okay. Five ninety six. And I also got some juicy couture. Um, it's called Raw Raw Rouge. I don't know if you have y'all ever heard of that. But it was ringing up nine ninety eight. And it was a thirty I wanna say it said a thirty eight dollar uh original price, but I got it for ten dollars, so I got that also. So what I'm going to do, and I'm also going to use this um, candle that I got on uh, the Dollar General Purple Dot. And it was the 90% off because I got it at 90%. And for some reason, y'all, this is so strange. They came with little corks at the top. And when I got home, y'all, and I know... I know they put it in the bag. I saw them do it. <laughs> when I got home, couldn't find them. It's like they disappeared. And I was just like, that's really, really odd. I don't know. I didn't look in my car really good because I thought they'd be in the bag. But for some reason, the corks wasn't there. It's like they disappeared. But anyway, so what I did, I have these um, shrink wrap, the little bags. Of course, what I used at my my last um business and what i did was just heat um heat seal the top so dust or nothing would get in them but yeah that's a good idea 30 cents 23 cents and 5.96 which we're going to round this off to six dollars so i would say six six fifty Okay, because we're gonna use the three pennies to add to that. So six fifty. So I would go ahead and just round it to um let's say what seven fifty? Just add a dollar for the bag because my newspapers is free. So for the bag and bow, I'll just add a dollar to it. Some people add two dollars to it, and I could all right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take the tags off everything. You 
I'm going to use the box. So we have hand salve. It's really little. Lemon butter cuticle cream. It's real little. Well. Foot cream. Honey and grapeseed hand cream. Almond milk hand cream. And some burnt bees chapstick. Okay, I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with paper and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry, I had to talk to my husband. He came from work. So now I'm going to add all these little items. I said items. <laughs> what? I don't know what's wrong with me today, y'all. Items. That's a new one. Anyway, so I think, do I want to use this and then work everything around it? I definitely need some kind of backing. Hmm. Okay, let me get a backing. I'll be right back. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I have an empty tube. I like to save my empty tubes from, uh, you know, the gift wrap, uh, paper and all that. So, since it's circular, so when I cut it, I can bend it out and make it, you know, fit this instead of putting like the long square piece of foam board in it. So, let me see if it'll work, y'all. If not, it'll be a fail on camera. So what I'm going to do is cut it in half. And then lay it out. So let me see here. So it won't curl up so much.
here's the finished look <coughs> and I'm going to be selling this for $25 easy inexpensive gift and thank you so much for joining me on this gift giving adventure if you love today's basket making inspiration as much as I did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below and remember I also have playlists for even more gift basket ideas even DIY tips and clearance shopping hauls if you create any of these baskets I feature today I would love to see your masterpiece share your photos on social media and tag me for a chance to be featured in my next video until next time Happy basket making, and may your gifts always bring smiles and love to those who receive them. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.